Hello everybody, welcome to today's daily current event check-in here on NTI Day 15. Hope you all had a wonderful spring break and it's time to get back to work. Starting off with coronavirus news. Just in case you all haven't seen the numbers since we last talked, I'm gonna go over the numbers of coronavirus cases in America, Kentucky, and Nelson County. America now has 561,103 confirmed cases with 22,106 deaths. Kentucky has 1,963 cases with 97 deaths, and Nelson County has eight cases and zero deaths. Governor Bashir announced that this week, starting in Frankfurt's Kroger, there will be drive-through testing, and there, there are 20,000 testing kits available. The testing kits will re return results within 48 hours, and in the next two weeks, three more locations will be added for drive-through testing around Kroger's in Kentucky. Now for your non-coronavirus news. Over the spring break, Bernie Sanders decided to drop out of the presidential race for the Democratic Party's nomination, which is pretty much opening the door for Joe Biden to be the nominee, setting up a Biden versus Trump showdown in the general election come November. And now for your presidential fun fact of the day. Miller Fillmore, our 13th president, who was vice president for Zachary Taylor and took over once Taylor passed away in office, once in 1851, ran down to the Library of Congress, which was on fire, and helped put the fire out himself because he, preserved, he wanted to preserve the books, which he loved so much. On this day in 1979, the longest doubles ping pong match concluded. The ping pong match lasted 101 hours, 1 minute and 11 seconds. The longest singles ping pong match occurred about 6 months earlier than this, and it lasted over 130 hours. So before you start your ping pong match, be ready for a long showdown. Hope you are doing well. Again, hope you had a good spring break. Hopefully you're ready to get back to work and stay safe. Aww.